the race. I really enjoyed it. I mean, the Saturday was pretty horrendous, but um, the Sunday was great. Fighting through from 11th to finish 5th, you know, nobody fell out of the race in front of me. It was just through a great strategy and uh, lots, of, lots of fun overtaking. Finish up behind Lewis, who started 4th, and we started 11th. So I was, you know, too disappointed. Obviously, it's the race that I lost the World Championship. Even so, I really enjoyed it. I, you know, I thought it was a good race. I think you would, because the team is important to you, and that includes your teammates. But I think it should always come down to the driver's decision to uh, help his teammates. Obviously, team orders are illegal, so um, yeah, you know, I would uh, I would help my teammate out if I found myself in that. I'll miss the advantage he gives us, yes, but I won't miss my arm being tied after about three laps pushing on the f duck It was a great idea by the team, and I think they did a fantastic job of bringing it to the car so early on in the season and getting it working so early in the season. It really helped our performances this year. But it's gone, it's the same for everyone. You know, everyone's got the f duck now, so, you know, we'll get over it and we just have to work on something else. Last year's race was great because I'd already won the championship. I came here, it was like a bonus race. So I really enjoyed it. I mean, I finished on the podium, had a really good scrap with Mark on the last couple of laps. You know, I think they've put on a great show here. I mean, the facilities are fantastic here in Abu Dhabi, the best facilities in Formula One. It seems that uh, we have a lot of fans here and, that, you know, a lot of people want to come to this race. I think they seem to really enjoy the atmosphere here and it being a day and night race as well, I think that's the really exciting. Thank you. The fun sections here and you can really take a lot of curves, the curves are quite flat. So you've got to be very aggressive over the curves. I really enjoy driving around here and there are lots of different camber changes which can be a bit tricky. Over the winter I'll be going to Australia for a week doing a triathlon with my girlfriend and then Christmas in the UK and then flying away somewhere hot for New Year's for a couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to that. Your wins are always going to be your highlight, China and Australia. But I've also had some fun races like Silverstone was a lot of fun, fighting through the field. Brazil was a lot of fun. I've had a few races, I've really, really enjoyed Canada as well. So, there have been a lot of fun races this year, but obviously the wins are a big ease, and that's what I want to get more of next year. I think it's, it's always going to be very tricky when the Rebels are so competitive. They're super competitive at the moment, and also the Ferraris are pretty, pretty competitive, so it's, it's going to be tough for us to, to challenge them. I'm not sure if we're quick enough, but we'll give it our best shot. <laughs> I have owned two already. I bought them, was it 2006? I bought two camper vans. Older than the one that I drove. One's a 70, 1971, 1956. 1971 was a gold one, I've just sold it. And the other one is a van, so it's got no windows in the back, but it's a it's got a big engine in it, it's, a, it's an original VW engine, old school engine, but it's been tuned. But instead of having 30 horsepower, it's got 200 horsepower. It's got some Fouche Porsche wheels, low suspension, it's a great bit of kit. Apart from that, everything's standard, and it's what I use for my triathlon, so take the bikes in the back. It's quite noisy though, so you drive down the street and set the car alarms off, but apart from that, it's great. <laughs>